Compassion and humility were the hallmarks of the great enlightened master and founder of Sikhism. Born in 1469 in Punjab, India, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji traveled far and wide by foot, making long trips from as far as Mecca to present-day Myanmar to share his simple message, do honest work, meditate, and share with others. The peaceful and loving path of Sikhism has appealed to many devotees around the world. In global communities, many Sikh practitioners continue with their noble spiritual lineage of vegetarianism, meaning an animal-free diet. Guru Nanak Dev Ji's wisdom and teachings, along with the gurus who succeeded him and those of other saints and masters, are embodied in the holy text of the Sri Guru Granth Sahib. Currently housed in the most sanctified golden temple in Amritsar, India, the poetic divine compositions form the basis for the sacred scriptures of the Sikhs. We present to you today an excerpt of the magnanimous teachings of Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji from the Holy Sri Guru Granth Sahib. One universal Creator God, by the grace of the true Guru. The hukam of your command is the pleasure of your will, Lord. To say anything else is far beyond anyone's reach. O Nanak, the true King does not seek advice from anyone else in his decisions. O Baba, the pleasure of other sleep is false. By such sleep, the body is ruined, and wickedness and corruption enter into the mind. With the body of saffron, and the tongue a jewel, and the breath of the body pure fragrant incense, with the face anointed at the sixty-eight holy places of pilgrimage, and the heart illuminated with wisdom, with that wisdom chant the praises of the true name, the treasure of excellence. O Baba, other wisdom is useless and irrelevant. If falsehood is practiced a hundred times, it is still false in its effects. You may be worshipped and adored as a peer or a spiritual teacher. You may be welcomed by all the world. You may adopt a lofty name and be known to have supernatural spiritual powers. Even so, if you are not accepted in the court of the Lord, then all this adoration is false. No one can overthrow those who have been established by the true Guru. The treasure of the Nam, the name of the Lord, is within them, and through the Nam, or the name of the Lord, they are radiant and famous. They worship the Nam, or the name of the Lord, and they believe in the Nam, or the name of the Lord. The true one is forever intact and unbroken. When the body mingles with dust, what happens to the soul? All clever tricks are burnt away, and you shall depart crying. O Nanak, those who forget the Nam, or the name of the Lord, what will happen when they go to the court of the Lord? The virtuous wife exudes virtue. The unvirtuous suffer in misery. If you long for your husband, Lord, O soul bride, you must know that he is not met by falsehood nor boat or raft can take you to him. Your husband, Lord, is far away. My Lord and Master is perfect. His throne is eternal and immovable. One who attains perfection as Gurmukh, or one who is devoted to God, obtains the immeasurable true Lord. The palace of the Lord God is so beautiful. Within it, there are gems, rubies, pearls, and flawless diamonds. A fortress of gold surrounds this source of nectar. How can I climb up to the fortress without a ladder? By meditating on the Lord through the Guru, I am blessed and exalted. The Guru is the ladder, the Guru is the boat, and the Guru is the raft to take me to the Lord's name. The Guru is the boat to carry me across the world ocean. The Guru is the sacred shrine of pilgrimage. The Guru is the holy river. 
If it pleases Him, I bathe in the pool of truth and become radiant and pure. He is called the most perfect of the perfect. He sits upon His perfect throne. He looks so beautiful in His perfect place. He fulfills the hopes of the hopeless. O oh, Nanak, if one obtains the perfect Lord, how can His virtues decrease? Come, my dear sisters and spiritual companions, hug me close in your embrace. Let's join together and tell stories of our all-powerful Husband Lord. All virtues are in our true Lord and Master. We are utterly without virtue. O Creator Lord, all are in your power. I dwell upon the one word of the Shabbat or sound. You are mine, what else do I need? Go and ask the happy soul brides. By what virtuous qualities do you enjoy your husband Lord? We are adorned with intuitive ease, contentment and sweet words. We meet with our beloved, the source of joy, when we listen to the word of the Guru Shabbat or sound. You have so many creative powers, Lord. Your bountiful blessings are so great. So many of your beings and creatures praise you day and night. You have so many forms and colors, so many classes, high and low. Meeting the true one, truth wells up. The truthful are absorbed into the true Lord. Intuitive understanding is obtained, and one is welcomed with honor through the Guru's word, filled with the fear of God. O oh, Nanak, the true king absorbs us into himself. It all worked out. I was saved, and the egotism within my heart was subdued. The evil energies have been made to serve me since I placed my faith in the true Guru. I have renounced my useless schemes by the grace of the true carefree Lord. O oh, mind, Meeting with the True One, fear departs. Without the fear of God, how can anyone become fearless? Become Gurmukh, or one who is devoted to God, and immerse yourself in the Shabbat, or sound. How can we describe Him with words? There is no end to the descriptions of Him. There are so many beggars, but He is the only giver. He is the giver of the soul and the prana, the breath of life. When he dwells within the mind, there is peace. The world is a drama staged in a dream. In a moment the play is played out. Some attain union with the Lord, while others depart in separation. Whatever pleases him comes to pass. Nothing else can be done. The Gurmukhs, or ones who are devoted to God, Purchase the genuine article. The true merchandise is purchased with the true capital. Those who purchase this true merchandise through the perfect guru are blessed. O oh Nanak, one who stocks this true merchandise shall recognize and realize the genuine article. As metal merges with metal, those who chant the praises of the Lord are absorbed into the praiseworthy Lord. Like the poppies, they are dyed in the deep crimson color of truthfulness. Those contented souls who meditate on the Lord with single-minded love meet the true Lord. O siblings of destiny, become the dust of the feet of the humble saints. In the society of the saints, the Guru is found. He is the treasure of liberation, the source of all good fortune. Upon that highest plane of sublime beauty stands the mansion of the Lord. By true actions this human body is obtained, and the door within ourselves which leads to the mansion of the Beloved is found. The Gurmukhs, or ones who are devoted to God, train their minds to contemplate the Lord, the Supreme Soul. By actions committed under the influence of the three qualities, hope and anxiety are produced. Without the Guru, how can anyone be released from these three qualities? Through intuitive wisdom, we meet with him and find peace. Within the home of the self, 
the mansion of his presence is realized when he bestows his glance of grace and washes away our pollution. Without the Guru, this pollution is not removed. Without the Lord, how can there be any homecoming? Contemplate the one word of the Shabbat or sound and abandon other hopes. O Nanak, I am forever a sacrifice to the one who beholds and inspires others to behold him. The life of the discarded bride is cursed. She is deceived by the love of duality. Like a wall of sand, day and night she crumbles and eventually she breaks down altogether. Without the word of the Shabbat or sound, peace does not come. Without her husband Lord, her suffering does not end. O soul bride, without your husband Lord, what good are your decorations? In this world you shall not find any shelter. In the world hereafter, being false, you shall suffer. The true Lord himself knows all. He makes no mistakes. He is the great farmer of the universe. First he prepares the ground, and then he plants the seed of the true name. The nine treasures are produced from name of the one Lord. By his grace we obtain his banner and insignia. Some are very knowledgeable, but if they do not know the Guru, then what is the use of their lives? The blind have forgotten the Nam, the name of the Lord. The self-willed Mamuks, or ones who follow their own uncontrolled minds or wild desires, are in utter darkness. Their comings and goings in reincarnation do not end. Through death and rebirth they are wasting away. The bride may buy sandalwood oil and perfumes and apply them in great quantities to her hair. She may sweeten her breath with betel leaf and camphor. But if this bride is not pleasing to her husband lord, then all these trappings are false. Her enjoyment of all pleasures is futile, and all her decorations are corrupt. Until she has been pierced through with the shabad, or sound, how can she look beautiful at Guru's gate? O oh, Nanak, blessed is that fortunate bride who is in love with her husband Lord. The empty body is dreadful when the soul goes out from within. The burning fire of life is extinguished and the smoke of the breath no longer emerges. The five relatives, or the senses, weep and wail painfully and waste away through the love of duality. You fool, chant the name of the Lord and preserve your virtue. Egotism and possessiveness are very enticing. Egotistical pride has plundered everyone. Those who have forgotten the Nam, the name of the Lord, are attached to affairs of duality. Attached to duality, they putrefy and die. They are filled with the fire of desire within. Those who are protected by the Guru are saved. All others are cheated and plundered by deceitful worldly affairs. Love dies and affection vanishes. Hatred and alienation die. Entanglements end and egotism dies, along with attachment to maya, possessiveness and anger. Those who receive his mercy obtain the true one. The gurmukhs, or ones who are devoted to God, dwell forever in balanced restraint. By true actions, true Lord is met and the Guru's teachings are found. Then they are not subject to birth and death. They do not come and go in reincarnation. O Nanak, they are respected at the Lord's gate. They are robed in honor in the court of the Lord. The body is burnt to ashes. By its love of Maya, the mind is rusted through. Demerits become one's enemies and falsehood blows the buggle of attack. Without the word of the Shabbat or sound, people wander lost in reincarnation. Through the love of duality, multitudes have been drowned. O oh mind, swim across by focusing your consciousness on the Shabbat or sound. Those who do not become Gurmukh, or one who is devoted to God, do not understand the Nam, 
They die and continue coming and going in reincarnation. That body is said to be pure in which the true name abides. One whose body is imbued with the fear of the true one and whose tongue savors truthfulness is brought to ecstasy by the true Lord's glance of grace. That person does not have to go through the fire of the womb again. From the true Lord came the air, and from the air came water. From water he created the three worlds. In each and every heart he has infused his light. The Immaculate Lord does not become polluted. Attuned to the Shabbat or sound, honor is obtained. One whose mind is contented with truthfulness is blessed with the Lord's glance of grace. We appreciate your enlightened presence for today's episode of Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is Planet Earth, Our Loving Home. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. May divine providence fulfill all your noble wishes. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.